Princess Diana forced William and Harry's nanny to quit her job out of jealousy and struggled to reign in her wild side, royal insider Ingrid Seward claimed. Princess Diana is remembered as an attentive and devoted mother to her children Prince William and Prince Harry, who continue to pay tribute to their late mother with their dedication to charitable causes. The Princess of Wales was considered to be a groundbreaker with her hands-on approach to motherhood and her decision to play a leading role in the life of her two young sons. But royal commentator Ingrid Seward suggested Diana struggled to accept the royal nanny appointed to help her because of jealousy, forcing the child career to quit because of constant jabs from the princess. Speaking to Sunday Night, M. Seward said, Charles had parents substitutes all his life and Diana said she was never going to bring up her children in the way he'd been brought up, which was to be so emotionally distant from your parents. Diana said she wanted a far more modern nanny but of course that really didn't really work because Diana actually wanted the children all to herself. She had a wonderful nanny called Barbara Barnes and Diana became jealous and would pick on Barbara and it just became untenable. In the end, Barbara had to leave. The Princess of Wales was constantly filmed paying close attention to both William and Harry but M. Seward suggested her parenting technique shocked the Queen. She continued, the Queen was quite shocked at how wild William and Harry were. Diana did say that at Fergie's wedding, where William was a page, she thought she may have to put a line of smarties along the aisle so that Prince William would keep his eyes straight in front. Despite her decision not to delegate the management of William and Harry's lives completely to nannies, the Princess of Wales did ultimately accept the support of child carers as the princes grew up. Both the Duke of Cambridge and the Duke of Sussex developed a close relationship with their nannies, with Prince Harry introducing his now wife Meghan Markle to Tiggy Legburke, who worked for the royal family between 1993 and 1999. Ms. Leg Burke was at Balmoral with the young princes when Diana tragically died in a car crash in the Alma Tunnel in Paris. William and Harry were naturally devastated and things were made worse by the fact that the person who could have been expected to give them most succor at such a terrible time, their father Prince Charles, had to leave for the French capital within hours in order to escort their mother's body back to Britain. The pair turned to their nanny for comfort and maintained a close relationship as time passed, with M's Tig Lion making William and Harry godfathers to her two sons, Fred and Tom. Both princes have involved the boys in their lives, with William making Tom, then aged eight, a page boy at his 2011 wedding to Kate Middleton. Meanwhile Harry sat with Tiggy in the audience at £21,000 a year Coddell House Sporting School in Oxfordshire in 2012 to watch Fred's appearance in Oh What a Night, a musical based on the life of King Arthur written by the school's music teacher.